Good morning, everyone. I'm just going to give it a few more minutes for more people to join. All right, I think we're going to go ahead and get started. Good morning, everyone. My name is Alyssa McNabb, and welcome to Curiosity Corner Live. Um, my role at the Great Lakes Science Center is to design our exhibits. Um, today, we're going to be talking about scale modeling. Um, and before we get started, I wanted to take a moment to say the events in Cleveland and around the country remind us um, we all need to be present in our community. As a STEM-based education leader in Northeast Ohio, we want to make sure the Science Center stays true to our vision for a community that uses STEM to inform decision making and enrich our lives. Um, our Curiosity Corner live programming this week is shifting to reflect more inclusive look at some STEM innovators, both from North Northeast Ohio and beyond, who personify the tenacious spirit and drive for understanding that science can inspire in anyone regardless of gender, ethnicity, or religious background. Okay, so let's get started. Um, today, I wanted to talk about Hattie Scott Peterson. She was believed to be the first black female to graduate with her bachelor's degree in civil engineering. And um, here is a picture of Hattie Scott Peterson. Um, she uh, began or she worked as a cartographic engineer in her area and she would survey lands and um, create maps and plans of areas. She is so important because she was the first woman member of her local U.S. Army Corps of Engineers where she advocated for and encouraged other women to um, join the engineering profession. So today we'll be using an engineering skill where we will be creating a scale model. So engineers and architects use scales and um, scale drawings to create an exact specification of what they will be building in real life. And today we will be making a table um, just to show you what a scale looks like. This is an architectural scale, so it has three sides. And on each side, it has numbers. I'm sorry, I'm trying to show you here. So um, what these numbers mean are you can take and have one fourth of an inch would equal one foot, or maybe an inch equals a foot. So today we will be using the scale um, of an inch equals a foot. And what we're going to need is a ruler. I'll be using the scale. We'll need tape, scissors a pen, maybe some glue, and I'm just using paper sorry, and cardboard. So our first step today is going to be um, drawing our table onto our paper. So what I did here is I wanted to create a table that was three feet and seven, or three feet by seven feet. So um, what I did was I drew a rectangle that was three inches by seven inches. And then I also did some legs. I made mine look like rocket ship fins, but um, I made them two and a half inches by two inches. And then I just created a curve to make them look more creative and fun. Um, so once you have that drawn, you want to cut them out and then paste it onto your piece of cardboard. And just like that. And then um, uh, then we'll go ahead and take and cut those pieces out. So you'll have your rectangle. It'll be cardboard on one side and paper on the other. And then you'll have your two legs. And mine are, you know, that rocket ship size. And then once you do that, it's pretty simple. You just go ahead and tape your legs to your table. So like this, mine will stand, um, but this is my table. I went ahead and decorated it and colored it to look how I'd want the table to look. 
And then that's basically it. Um, does anybody have any questions about scale modeling? Yeah, you can use crayons to color yours. Um, I use markers and I just had fun with it. All right, if there aren't any questions, when you're finished building, remember to clean up your workspace, wash your hands thoroughly, and put away all of the materials you use. Um, and then remember to tune in tomorrow again uh, at 10.30 for more live content. Thank you for joining me. And remember to stay curious.